What's up guys? This is the Rayphone and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my own Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. And in this episode we are going to do some battles in the Middle East against the Ottoman Empire. So first of all we're going to take Ernesto Defendi and he's going to knock back the forces of Said Rusti, captain in the Ottoman forces, and hopefully push them back up this way. So let's take them out. So we are in... well, since we've taken... Since we've, the, the amount of forces we've had to generate to destroy uh, the forces of Sweden in Europe, we've now got a monumentally huge army at our disposal. So it's going to be interesting to uh, bring them to bear. I, I actually, based on the terrain, I want to go on the offensive. So what I want to do because I like having my gun stationed on a, on a hill, firing over the heads of my men. I am going... that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I've got a right-hand brigade and a left-hand brigade. Ernesto's going to follow the bulk of my cavalry. My howitzers are going to sit here and fire. So my, how, my, my artillery is correctly on fire at will. No, is on hold fire mode. My howitzers aren't, that's fine. Because I want to push my troops ahead of my line before I let my artillery fire at whoever they choose. So we have some bombardment mortars to take out. Let's push up my hussars on the right. Yeah, they are Quick climbers. I hear a cavalry charge. Yep, they're ready. So that is a unit of Janissary Musketeers. Let's flank them with my cavalry. Cause them to leave their position. So my, ca my infantry here advance up past the action. The cavalry is broken. Advance the infantry up. Keep my hussars pushing up. My heavy cavalry smash straight into these Muslim because they're right there. Oh, these Nizam got to within point blank range and then they decided to, dis to dismount. Charge my cavalry through this mess. You guys pivot to help engage the enemy. Cavalry charge on straight through. Howitzers. But bombard the Janissary Musketeers with round shot. There we go. Not oh, some teleporting going on. So if I get you guys out of square, will they just charge you, or will they, will they actually just shoot you? So push up to flank their position. Deploy my general. See if I can kill this one mortar crewman. Good. Actually, 
actually let's chase down some of their better troops. There we go. So the Janissaries have the Janissaries have relocated, making them easier to pick off. These poor, poor Delhi horsemen. Stop all my artillery from firing. Okay, you guys focus on the Janissaries. and pour fire into the Nizam light infantry. They'll not be able to stand up to our concentrated volleys. And there they go, they've broken. Now everyone, just have a lot of fun. You run off to one side to avoid the, the massacre. Janissary Musketeers are always a nice target because they're, they're pretty solid infantry. Yeah, there we go. The light infantry came back. Kill the Janissaries! Kill the Janissary Musketeers! We'll teach the Ottomans what it means to make war against us. Yeah, those light infantry aren't going to last very long. Yeah, the desert infantry wasn't going to last. Yes, let's continue. Let's just make sure that everyone's doing the right thing. See so you hit the Nizam rifles, you do a whole bunch of damage to the Desert Warriors. You're opening fire into the Light Infantry as well. all focus on the Nizam rifles then go hit how many men are here? Five five Nizam light infantry four of them have cut, been cut down in the initial wave and the rest have been chewed up by a mine cavalry contingent ah oh, look at that Mio Sire so we may have pushed them back towards... Actually, you can just go finish them off, I think. Well, nearly finished them off. So you men replenish, you... Replenish, but I think I want you guys to get to this crossing here. You guys, Romano Balbi. You get down here to put Baghdad at risk. No, I specifically like you to be this side of the river. It's slower, but I'm not looking to cross. You get onto the bridge. Good stuff. So in the western part of Anatolia is clear. Let's take Nico Luzato to go hit these men in the mines. And then we're also going to move up our three armies with them to provide mutual support. Just keep slowly constricting the ring around Ankara. Keep attacking individual armies as and when they expose themselves. But just slowly keep the encirclement going and giving them nowhere to run. Oh, 
Foggy. Foggy Battle's a super fan. <laughs> Okie doke. So, set up our guns. Set up our howitzers. I am anticipating. Well, we are going to need to attack, but I want my right flank to be the one that. I, I decided it's all of this so arbitrarily. I want my right flank to be the mobile one. My left flank is going to be... It's going to have some troops defending it. But my right flank is going to be the one I want to push with. For the better, actually. So let's get our... Cavalry running up. My infantry can walk. Misfire, but still probably gonna wanna advance. So you guys are gonna quick climb their emplacements. Okay, this flank actually needs to run. You men need to run as well. Should ought, really ought to be shrapnel, shrapnel shotting. You men can all open fire on the deadly horsemen. Even my light, my skirmishes can actually get involved. My shot <laughs> It's so loud. Send these two cavalry units on a charge around the flank. These men have to storm up. So let's advance up my skirmishes a, a fraction. Take this line. Also push them up. I know it's not the most efficient way to use your infantry. So focus our quick line on this big central mass. The shrapnel shot's flying in. Yeah, I wondered if that was going to happen. sharpshooters away while my heavy cavalry clear out the enemy I said just keep running just run away then my heavy cavalry clear him out My heavy cavalry is more than enough to stand firm. But be careful of these spikes. Although it looks like this army's done for. <laughs> Very done for. Holy moly. So run one cavalry unit straight through the gap. Send some infantry to storm in. So you men can open up against the camel mercenaries. The heavy cavalry is still alive and kicking. The garrison guards just uh, form a square, actually.
and you may smash into the feline musketeers. You guys get over here. You guys get over here. Chase down the Nizam. You units both attack. Those camel mercenaries, because they will break. You men charge in against the Mamelukes. Armenian archers. I mean, they can try and chase down my cavalry if they like, but my cavalry's going to be doing far too much damage to be worried about archers. There we go. It says the Mamelukes are winning, but my uh, heavy cavalry will soon deal with that. Stop my howitzers from firing. Pick a unit and kill it. Okay, you men pour fire into the Mamelukes, or at least attempt to. Those units go chase down the Azars. Engage the Mamelukes, that'll give some of their infantry time to escape. Some Sekban have reformed. These Armenian archers are going to be mightily upset at the welcome they're going to receive. Chase down the Mamelukes! Destroy them! You men have a great time attacking down these Haydut Irregulars. 102nd and the 79th have something to say to you guys. Okay, so those are Sekban Janissaries, so let's not go too crazy. And let's actually form up a, a bit of a line to provide some welcome presents. Kill them! Kill them all! There we go. More Armenian archers. Make ready and fire. That's the action. That's the order of the day. Yeah, you may as well actually kill that entire unit. Oh God! Yeah, there we go. They've they've had enough too. We're going to continue just because. I mean, they're going to escape because the battlefield, the edge of the edge of the battlefield, is not very far away for them. Yeah, there it is. Curses, but still, I'll take the victory. It's another Ottoman force that we've annihilated, so they will not be able to do quite as many annoying things to us. So, Nicolo Luzzo. You men replenish, so let's bring up 
some troops as reinforcements, and let's get Pepino Volta to go to the south to try and squash these two units. I mean, you can just go in and auto these random handfuls of troops. Because then we can form a good defensive line here. You can attack Coca Memis. Yeah. Back. Good, so now, yeah, you're going, heading to the crossing. Uh, Damascus, we don't really have control over Damascus yet. Bunch of troops recruited across the front. Because Egypt is, yeah, it's ours, and it's becoming increasingly Catholic. I mean, we don't really need this fleet here anymore, because, uh, well, there's just no need for it. Now, one thing we will want to do is keep a galley in Sinop, just to make sure it stays broken. At some point we will need to attack the British, but I'd like to do that after we've taken Ankara, really. Taken Ankara, and I can push up, and I'll be pushing on to Baghdad, Yerevan, so we'll be able to pounce on Tbilisi easy enough, but we'll be able to have troops fortifying like this front and this front. Keep the British contained. That would be a good idea, I think. I'm glad my generals are all gaining experience, because that can be part of the problem about having so many generals, is that they all gain experience relatively slowly. But because we've got our turn time, our turn time set to oh, the war bonus is thirteen. They're so fed up, and then their growth is pop growth is obviously very quite badly negative. Their financial growth is pretty big. I mean, if we go on to, I mean, we're not on here because we aren't a major power, but we're surely a giant bigger than all of these guys. Ooh, Durban. Oh, yeah, Durban's being destroyed. Bologna is two turns till we get percussion cap. Okay, let's hit end turn. As more men make their way to the new front lines. A giant exodus of spies. More troops to be recruited. I wouldn't be surprised if those ones at the Baltic, they might get split between um, India and the Americas. Yeah. That's exactly why we did it. Just, we may as well just make it so that they, they just can't get out of that bottleneck now. Yeah, they are an enemy in the Americas as well. That's a large, large, uh, p large deployment of troops. You see, yeah, they can't go anywhere. That forces ah, okay, they've there's a there's a, a stack behind our lines, so they will have to be isolated and destroyed because they're going to go for Sinop. I need to build something in that territory still. In Venice. I think they might be, the Ottomans might be aware the end is near when it comes to my research. Yeah, I need more troops in the Americas. I need more troops everywhere. At least with Quebec under our control, we can use that to, to keep ramping up our troops. Yeah, or to resolve that. So they raided our port down here, which is an annoyance more than anything else. But soon can be rectified. Oh, 
So I'm not so worried about most of their raiding. Just keep replenishing. Enemy raid in Demerara. Yeah, we know that. Construction update. Yeah, just continue with that. In attesa di ordini. In attesa di altri ordini. Uh, okay, Northern Italy. Craft workshop and also. Infrastructure check. We're moving a lot of troops around, so we want to make sure there aren't any particular areas that are going to cause us problems when maneuvering our troops around. But it looks like we've actually got quite a good. Oh. Okay, Newfoundland, not quite the highway I was looking for. Gibraltar. Okay, I think that is everything. I did see a mine down here in Algiers that can be upgraded. Um, okay. Fabrizio. You can be joined by these men from Vienna. Oh, it's such a complete force. You men march down to Toronto to be ready to be sailed over towards India. You men replenish just to keep the uh, morale problems from um, those priests in line. Good. Giordino Belvi Bevelacqua. Let's get you down here as well. Fleet arrives. Okay. So. Do we use these to start to capture some of these islands? I think we do. So I think we take Armando Sparrow. Well, two of them we will. Such a good army. Gregorio uh, yeah, Gregor. Yeah. No, you guys. I have a. I have a plan. I do have one. So you guys sail up to Arcadia. So Mario, demand the surrender of the region. Yeah, I was going to say. Build the Subadar's palace and fortify. Okay, in which case, then you guys might actually sail into Eastport. And dispatch. Disembark your forces. Then you, good sir, stand in between them to provide support to either army. And this force needs to sail to Martinique. Deposit. Okay, right. Sail over there. Then I suppose I should probably attack this fleet. But you know how I suck at fleet stuff. So let's go and take him out. But, looking at the timer... I think it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the for a, a major fleet engagement. Um, that I should win. I'm sure you guys would look at this and go, I could definitely win that. You guys definitely could. But me? Eh. Radio. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time.